Hello everyone, so in this video let us talk about a medium problem. I don't think so, it's a medium problem, but it's an easy problem only. So the problem is from lead code. The problem name is smallest number in an infinite set. So the problem statement goes like this that you have a set which consists of all positive integers 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on and you have to implement a smallest infinite set class that class has three functions the first function is to initialize that set and the set consists of all the positive integers that I've mentioned the pop smallest function will remove as well as it will return the smallest integer contained in that infinite set the other function is add back this function will take a number in the parenthesis as a parameter and it will add that pot positive integer inside the set the set has the functionality that if the number is already present it will not get inserted inside the set if it is not present it will be inserted inside the set and these are the three functions you have to implement and coming down to this problem because it's using an infinite word i don't believe in infinite as in when i'm working on these type of problems so it will be having some constraint and as you can see that it has a constraint of 1000 only also there will be at most 1000 calls so which means that in the worst scenario worst case scenario there will be 1000 pop operations because if they're adding no problem you are keep on adding it doesn't matter to us but because when we are popping out by popping you have to like print out some number in that scenario what you can see is that at most 1000 number will be popped out so what you can do is in this problem you can just initialize your set with 1000 numbers because in the worst case possible you will be popping out the whole operation will be pop out 1000 elements 1 2 3 4 the smallest numbers okay and when you're popping out uh, if the set already has 1000 elements the program will not terminate it will not cause any error and that is very good to go and thus when you're initializing this program just take a five number as buffer just take from one till 1005 insert all the numbers inside the set and you're good to go now coming down to now implementation of both to both of these functions so when you're talking about sets in c++ all the numbers inside the set are stored in an ascending order which means that the first element is the very smallest and because you want to find out the smallest number inside the set and also you want to remove it out so for getting out the smallest number you can just get to the very first number inside the set and how you can get that s dot begin s dot begin will point to the very first element inside the set and because the set is an ascending order the very first number the smallest number but because it's a pointer you have to dereference it to get the value of the value like the value inside the set so you will use a star operator so star s dot begin will actually give you the very first element inside the set you will store them in some top variable and then now you have to delete this element also from the set so s dot begin just pass this pointer to s dot erase s dot erase means that remove or erase this particular pointer this pointer that is the first element from the set which set s that's s set so that will remove the first element from the set now you have the top element that is the first element also just return the first element so this is the function that is very simple and add back you have this number just insert this inside the set if it is already present it will not get inserted if it is already if it is not present it will be inserted that's the main property of set so you don't have to function or like worry about it it will automatically be handled so it's a very small function very small implementation as well coming down to a time complexity because we are working with set and it is not an unordered set it's a simple set so it will be o of login to do all of this operation popping out inserting all of that so o of login and that's all the logic and code part if you still have any doubts you can mention on in the comment box thank you for watching this video till the end i will see you in the next one till i keep coding and bye